In many part of European houses you find these type of fuses, bottle fuses, uh, Weber fuses, and they have these inserts, the so-called pus of them. And I'll take this particular fuse out, which has been switched, I'll de-energize the circuit. It's a red one, 10 ampere. And I'll go more details in the video later. 10 ampere, red. 16 ampere is grey. Just a couple of the standard ones. So I can fit a 10 ampere fuse in a 16. The whole idea is with the pass solver, we call them, or inserts. Or you can put a lower rated fuse in the same carrier, but not a higher rated. So a 16 won't fit in here, stand by. Got a 16 ampere, that's a grey one. In Dutch we call these zekeringen. English is fuse. This got a bigger end piece here and you won't be able to get it in there. Say if that was rated, the wire was rated say um, 1 mil or 1.5, that's rated at 10 amp maximum. So this fuse, or oh, this is anchoring, won't fit in the particular slot. I'll take the tenor back out and put it back in here. Back in, energize the particular circuits. And the 16 goes back in here where we want. It's a bit hard to do with one hand when they have camera going on one side. And there we go, got it back in. These things are called automats, automatic fuses. Oh, click, I'll turn some lights off. Turn the lights back on. This is another one, I'm not even sure what's going to trip. So, right, so I'll explain those a bit more too. Um, I got one of these panels in my workshop in New Zealand, so it's not an English uh, setup here. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go into some more details on these uh, further down the video. Just after my earlier intro, I had a look on YouTube. There's not much information about these uh, Weber type fuses or bottle fuses like these for example. Um, so I'm going to stitch something together. This is an hour for Dale cast or a main a fuse uh, thing from a Dutch meter box, meter panel. Most houses have 3 times 25 ampere. Uh, usually they look like this. So the main supply terminals the power comes in at the bottom, goes through the fuse. If you rotate this around, the output is taken off from here. These uh, spare bars here are for neutrals or earth, it can be used for those particular purposes. Usually 25 ampere, 25 ampere, yellow. Got quite a big uh, center here at the end, a bit of carbon on there. So you can read, came occur. The snail, the little shell, means uh, it's a slow blow. Traak is from some PGM, Provincial Gelders Electricity Company. That was an RM 25 ampere, yeah, so this is just the main fuse. So, again, yellow corresponds with the color of the insert in, in the fuse carrier. Put this back where it belongs. Get some fuses out here, different types, and I'll lay out the whole selection. So here we have more or less the whole where the standard range. I think they call these the D2s. I'm not sure what they call that one. Uh, D2 uh, and then the bigger ones are the D3 version, bottle type, and I think that's a D4. So 6 amp is green, 10 ampere is red, 16 is grey, 20 is blue, 25 is yellow, 35 is black, 
50 is white, 63 ampere is orange, 100 ampere is red. They've got a, a little bit different end tip on it. So these are common fuses you find in the many older Dutch, German, European houses. Uh, there's still quite a lot in use, these type of fuses. And behind it are some of the pass solvent or inserts. I haven't got the whole series, red, grey, blue, yellow, black. And I'll try to show you how they actually uh, go from an open perspective, easier just to see. So here we have a 20 ampere setup. Um, so this is the center of the pass hole for this, that goes in the bottom of the fuse carrier. Here is the fuse. This 20 ampere, if you look at this, only the 20 ampere fuse will fit in this insert. I've got a six, 16 ampere fuse here, will fit in there. Lower fuse is fine, because these things are set for the wire size. 6 ampere fuse, fine, will fit in there fine. Um, you have a 25 ampere fuse, if somebody wants to overweight it, they'll put 25, it won't fit. So the diameter of these end studs prevents a bigger fuse being inserted. Uh, same applies if I've got a red one here for example, 10 ampere, so that will be 1 mil, 1.5 mil wire, so that fits in there nicely. You can fit a 6 ampere fuse in there, the green one, no problem. 16 ampere, no way, it's not going to fit. So you need to, the inserts are normally set according to the wire size used in a particular fuse board. The thread sides of these, these are E27 threads, put a D2 fuses, and these are E40 Goliaths. Um, these fuses are pretty good, they have had issues sometimes when the screws haven't been done up properly and you can get arcing at the end tips, hence that's why they're going now these days a lot for to circuit breakers or they use the different type of fuses, the mess, mess and we call them, just the, the link uh, wedge type fuses are the ones that I use. So this is the 100 ampere version that has uh, still a screw in fuse. 100 ampere, 600 volts, uh, looks like Siemens sugar. Um, we can't see the rating on them, but yeah, these are, these are used on some heavy duty appliances, although more likely they prefer the DIN type fuses that are these, which is 100 ampere as well, but there's an indicator dot in it. 120 KA, they, they start KA rating them, they have a better braking capacity. Um, good dissipation, you've got the uh, end terminals, so in Dutch we call them messen, uh, English they call them wedges or din fuses, so these get used and uh, they come in different sizes of course, so this is a 315, I may do another video on that, uh, indicator is there that pops out, I think, on one of those things. So yeah, that's uh, this about these fuses. I will do a part two on this, I think, just to pop one of these fuses, and you've got a little indicator in here that will pop out of the fuse. So you have your main fuse element, 20 ampere fuse wire, or 10 ampere, and the indicator dot will sit in there in this little spring, and it should pop it out when it uh, comes up, but um, I'll put it in a follow-up on this particular video. Any questions, put it in. This is uh, just some of the fuses I've acquired over the years, and uh, yeah, all questions are good questions. Thanks for watching. Odalco 2007.